Today I'm going to show you the steps I took to replace the gas strut in the Selden Rod Kicker 20. Before disassembling, ensure the boom is fully supported by the topping lift and the main sheet. Remove the cotter pan and the clevis pan connecting the rod kicker to the boom, then slowly lower the rod kicker to the cabin roof. Remove the upper bushing from the rod kicker by depressing the snap fasteners on the top and bottom of the larger tube and simultaneously pulling the upper bushing away from the low, larger tube. Before proceeding, free the boom vang line from any rope clutches or similar devices. Slide the smaller tube out of the larger tube. Disconnect the upper gas strut end plug from the smaller tube by pressing the two snap fasteners on each side simultaneously. That debris is the remains of a wasp nest that was inside my rod kicker. Luckily there weren't any live wasps in it. Slide the gas strut out of the larger tube. Note the orientation of the gas strut. Small end down. Record the part number of your original gas strut. The end plug on the upper end of my gas strut was so severely corroded to the gas strut and I couldn't get them apart so I had to order a new end plug. The Selden part number for the Aerotron gas strut and my uh, rod kicker sells for about $300. However, McMaster Car has an equivalent gas strut in steel, it's about $90, and in stainless steel, it's $140. The end plug that goes on each end of it are $15 a piece if you need those. Note that the new gas strut is much longer than the old gas strut that had failed. Feed the cable through the slot in the lower end plug of the small end of the gas strut and then slide the gas strut down into the larger tube. Feed the cable through the slot in the upper end plug on the large end of the gas strut and slide the smaller tube onto the upper end plug securing the two fasteners on each side of the smaller tube. Slide the upper bushing down the smaller tube and secure it to the larger tube with the two snap fasteners. Then raise the rod kicker up to some position above horizontal before compressing the gas spring. Reroute the boom fang line through any blocks and rope clutches to a winch and compress the gas spring to the proper length to reconnect it to the boom. Reinstall the clevis pin and the cotter pin connecting the rod kicker to the boom. That's it. You're all done. Toss off the bow lines and go sailing. Good luck.